Good afternoon. My name is Zion Go. I'm the uh, product line director of uh, Erlas Imagine. And I'm here to showcase uh, the uh, power of uh, Imagine 64 bit operation. And we've been working on the software so that uh, you will take advantage of the hardware and, and so that uh, it uh, utilizes all the memory that's uh, available and, the, uh, and the, so that we can process very large you know, images and also uh, spawn many threads. And some of the things that we have been doing uh, historically and we can do it better. And what I'm going to show you here is the uh, traditional pan sharpening. And we can do it now in the imagine uh, spatial modeling environment where uh, we can do this dynamically. You don't have to process the whole imagery. Uh, you don't have to wait for the result to come out, but you can just set the model and it will do the pre-processing very quickly and then you can uh, visualize the effect you know, dynamically. So what on my screen is uh, the um, uh, imagery of uh, this your particular area. And you can see that, uh, your, uh, no, let's uh, zoom in a little bit in, and we can see uh, that uh, your, this uh, area has a, uh, it's a uh, um, sort of an airfield of uh, abandoned or uh, decommissioned uh, uh, airplanes. And you can see that once we zoom in, and you can see that the, uh, the, the outline is kind of uh, uh, blurry because it is a, a res, you know, re, it, the resolution is kind of low. Now, we're going to show you, uh, we're going to bring the panchromatic imagery, which has a much higher resolution, but it doesn't have the colors. Uh, we're going to zoom in and see whether you, we can uh, you see the, uh, an outline a lot better. Uh, it does. And now, the pan sharpening is to combine this, you know, the color imagery and the black and white pan chromatic high res higher resolution imagery and fuse them together so that we can take advantage of both the color and also the higher resolution of the imagery. So the way we do this is to build a model, not to process it you know, in the background so that we have an output image and you can view it. But now what are we going to do is a bring a uh, I, I built a, you know, a, a pan sharpening model uh, so that uh, you know, we input you know, those both images in there and uh, go through a pan you know, sharpening process and produce a, a output. But the output is not you know, written to the hard disk. It's, uh, you know, it's generated dynamically such that uh, you know, you, it, it only produces the output on the area where uh, you are viewing. So this is uh, you know, just show you how we are uh, uh, doing the pan sharpening and set the parameters and then let it run. And this show you the, uh, the various component of the model and we're going to run it and now it's finished. And the run really doing the basic setup of uh, you know, the input output and the various parameters and you understand you know, what, uh, you know, what to do with the imagery. And what we do now is you know, dynamically viewing the air, any area and uh, move the, uh, the image around so that uh, we can see uh, the much better uh, result from this you know, blurry you know, color imagery and also the black and white but higher resolution imagery. So this you know, uh, a method allows your know, dynamic feedback of the model's result and save your time, the user's time to process the imagery, save it to the disk, and then bring it up your viewing again. And also you can go back to the model and change the parameters, and then the result will be different. So this is you know, the, uh, the power of uh, spatial modeling, and also the power of 64-bit imagine, where we can uh, process, um, uh, you know, take advantage of the hardware, um, make better use of the memory, and do a you know, far better job, and that's uh, my uh, my demo today.